hello you guys <laughs> welcome back to my channel so since my mom has been gone i have been struggling to um one catch up on some sleep get into a routine um because you know when she was here by a certain time she would um be coming back in the evenings and then when she does come back i have to be awake for that or if i should take me on a walk i'd have to come back by 5 p.m you know or around the 5 p.m area so i've been struggling to get back into a routine of like kickstarting everything and like what it was like before so since she's been gone i have not yet um i think i've gone on a walk once or twice since she's been gone but not like how i used to I came home this morning and decided that I'm going to wash my hair and I'm going to put it in these two braids. So that is what we have going on. The last two weeks I had it semi-straightened and was wearing it in a bun. And for the next week or two weeks, I'm probably going to have it in these two braids because they're so easy. And they really do work for me. Mia is going through her phase of um, taking off my dishcloths and just walking around the apartment with it. So this is currently one on the floor. Because I have them um, hanging on to like the stove handle and like the cupboards, like the yeah. drawers, looping it onto the yeah. drawers. And so she can take yeah. it off and she's just been yeah. taking them off and walking around with them and bringing them everywhere. Okay. We're not even mad at that because she's exploring and we're letting her explore. Um, so far, the new nanny has started and I really do like her for Mia. I love that. Last night was her second night with us. She comes back tonight and basically for the rest of the week because I work. I'm going to check back on um, my message and see what the rundown for the week is that I did give her. So there's that. Um, tomorrow I need to order some groceries on Walmart because we need a few little touch-up items. But um, it's too late right now to do it before it's time for me to leave and, I'm, and I don't feel like... You know, leaving and then having somebody have to monitor all of that. Like, I, I, I can't even. Um, but, yeah. So, I leave the house at 9.30. So, I have her scheduled to come. At 9.30 at night. And so, that has been really working out for us. So far, she comes at 9.30. I'm leaving right around there. But also, you know, Mia gets tired right around there, too. So, it's time for her to go to bed. And so far, we've had to give her a little Miss Rachel to kind of calm her down when the nanny is here and everything. Because, you know, she's getting used to her. She's getting to know her. All that. So, you know, it's a bit of, like, an adjustment. But so far, she's doing pretty, pretty good. I need to do some laundry for her because she got some clothes. One, she has some new stuff. And I'm trying to be very intentional about, like, going in and, like um phasing out some of her stuff she has some new stuff and i just i just i don't know so we need to do her laundry see what can't fit her anymore and take those out and whatever fits her you know we'll work with that you guys let me show you all my plant look at my plant The older leaves basically all fell off and like it's springing these new leaves. So I'm glad that it's not like completely dead or anything. Maybe it's readjusting to my home. Child, I don't know. But so far this is what we have going on. So it's not like completely dead. I have not completely killed it. But also, I don't really know. The, the snake plant too is outside and it's doing completely fine. And my other plant is doing well too. So you know, we're just here. We're just here. Things are going great. No complaints. The last two nights at work or so just have not been my favorite. Like, they felt like such drags. But, like, whatever. I've been cooking, again, back into my routine of cooking and making sure that we have food. Because, you know, obviously now me eats three meals a day and snacks um, in between. And so whatever I eat, she typically eats as well. And so that's really great. You guys, she gets into everything. I have two candles on my kitchen counter because if I put it on the ottoman, she gets into it. I started my math class last night and baby. The math class so far is kind of taking me for everything I got. I feel like one, the professor is an older man. It doesn't matter if he's white or black. He is white though. 
he's an older man and he's just more I'm the professor, you're the student, I'm teaching you how I teach you and you get it how you get it or you don't. So far it's been one class and so far I'm, I'm keeping up, I'm following. Math is just not my strongest suit and so I'm already super stressed out based on the mere fact that I know that I'm not that great at math. But also I'm not trying to put too much pressure on myself regarding that. Today what I ended up doing was, we're doing introduction to statistics and today I ended up just going on TikTok and like doing like a little recap of like introduction to statistics and I feel like I found a really good lady who goes over it really nice and I feel like I understand and I'm following so far that all she does is walk up and down. You see that dishcloth down there on the floor? But um, yeah, I think I found a really good lady who goes over it and I feel like I'm following and I'm like keeping up so that's really good for me too. So, so far that's where we are at and you know, I guess no complaints because, oh, I'm now realizing that I could possibly put um the candle that I want to use in the living room on this little um thing right here because Mia will not allow me to have it lower she digs into it and say oh she's she's a wild little lady but I want to keep the top of there clean and organized too so far it's doing pretty good the only thing I have on there are things that I just use to do my hair but um yeah her little dress is so cute but that's where we are and that's what we have going on right now it is 6 58 p.m so pretty much 7 p.m I am going to I just gave her like a little snack so when dinner time comes, I know that she's not going to eat that much because it was oatmeal and like with raisins in it. Her and I were eating that. Um, so she might not eat that much when dinner time comes, which is completely fine. She eats what she eats and that's okay. Her and I are going to sit and have dinner together and then we're going to jump into taking more showers and getting ready for the nanny when she gets here and me basically getting ready to go to work. I don't give her a bath until it's damn near time for me to leave, like 8.59 p.m. because I leave her at 9.30. <clears throat> And so I give her a bath at like 9 p.m. and kind of get her ready so that by the time the nanny gets here, she's winding down, she needs her little bottle, she will go to sleep. You know what I mean? So that's basically what we have going on so far. I hate when the drainer is full. Also, I'm pretty sure. Was that not delivered or did I not buy that? I bought a little thing to put on the counter to dry dishes on because I wanted to get rid of the just drying rack. I feel like it just gets too full and the counter becomes too much and it really throws me off my OCD is just screaming out of me but um that's where we're at so far you know we're getting back into the swing of things we're getting back to our little routines and stuff Mia is walking around you know we're doing great so I'll see you guys later Boy. Boy. hi guys so I remember telling you guys that I'm going to be doing a class in the summer and the class is math today is the first math class and oh my god it is such a drag and i slept today and i made sure that i ate and everything but i've never been that great at math and i already feel like i don't even know i mean i'm trying to keep up and everything but jesus it, it's something 0.95 times 170 I'm kind of going through it here. I'm really trying to keep up, but zero. Yeah. 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 Child, I don't know. Even Mia was up with me and she was crying and everything, so I ended up having to put her to bed early. Right now it's 8.35 p.m. and she is sleeping. The nanny was supposed to come at 9. I'm going to just text her and tell her she's already sleeping so she could come at 9.30, right about when I'm ready to leave. Hey, she was very antsy and I had to give her a bath and put her to sleep. So feel free to come at 9.30. Hopefully she doesn't wake up while you are here. She's extremely tired though. You guys, I gotta listen to these instructions. He He's already giving us an assignment. So what you're gonna have to do is write down the answers on paper on the nights of the quizzes and exams. Also, he's so boring. Okay, and then you're going to be submitting, you know, usually for a quiz or a test, it could be two or three pages on paper and pen.